Hey everyone, it's Stephanie. Um, I just got off of work because it was about 2.30 in the morning and I was unable to get this uploaded earlier since my computer was being a royal pain in the butt once again. Um, but, so I figured this is the best time as ever to record my video on group outings with my toddler. Um, I'm going to start by saying that we don't actually have, like, most of my friends who have babies are, have significantly younger children. Um, all of Sherry's cousins are infants still, under the age of one. So, in terms of that, it's hard for us to get together with them and have them really play and do things like that, just because of the age difference. Um, we do have one person that we go and visit regularly who has a daughter who just, who's just about to turn one. Um, that's still a significant age difference between Sherry and her. So the way they play is totally different. Um, so that's one thing we like to do. We like to go and visit with her, with Sherry's friends and do things like that. Um, other things we do, we have a couple places. They're like giant obstacle courses for kids. Um, there's one that's about five minutes away from us. It's called Let's Play. Um, and it is basically a giant jungle gym. There's netting to climb on. It's got slides. It's got ball pit. It's got everything in it. And we've taken Sherry there a couple times and she loves it. Um, that's good. Gets her exercise. Gets her moving. Gets her exhausted, basically. And it lets her interact with other kids because there's lots of kids there. Um, the other one, it's in the city just outside of ours, or a town just outside of ours, it's called Kids Corners. Um, that one's good as well. It's not as big, but it is cheaper to get in. <laughs> it's free for Sherry still. It's The other one is not free. Um, but it's not as big, but it still has tons of obstacles, foam, like climbing blocks, everything. It's actually, it's awesome. Um, and that's one of the things we really like to do with Sherry, just to get her out and moving and let her run off some energy because we don't have the hugest place and I don't always get a chance to take her out during the day just based on how Caitlin's doing and everything else so it's awesome when we can do that um other things we do we took her the other day to the Telus World of Science here in Edmonton um it's basically it's kind of like a museum but interactive there are six exhibits in it, five of them don't change, so they have like a mystery exhibit that's above her age level, they have a body exhibit um, that she loved, she thought it was awesome, because it's like buttons that make things fart and burp and it was hilarious, she just thought it was hilarious. Um, they have a nature one, where you can learn about the environment and things like that, it's, again that one was a little bit out of her age range. Um, and they had, they have a space one which she thought was really cool. And then they have one that's more like a fun house. You go in, they have, it's more of a toddler area. You go in and the first section is blocks and things like that. And the next section is a water table, is water tables and things like that. And the next section after that is um, a giant floor piano and mirrors and a play theater and things like that. Um, and then the other exhibit, which is what we went there for, was a Sesame Street Teaches You the Body exhibit. And there was tons of kids there, and Sherry had a blast. She played with kids, she got to play with everything on there, and she loved it. Um, so things like that. We have, we also have a small spray park by our place. We haven't taken her there yet. Um, I think that's more my fear than hers. I actually broke my leg there when I was a kid. So I think I'm more paranoid about it than I should be. <laughs> but I guess that happens when you do something silly like that. Um, we'll be taking her there this summer. And really, we just... We don't do a ton of group activities. Like I said, I don't have a ton of friends that are parents. I'm still young, so a lot of my friends from high school are still in university or working or things like that. They don't have families and kids and everything else yet. Um, so in terms of that she doesn't get a ton of interaction on a regular regular basis um 
but we do the best we can to get her out and around other kids and things like that. I know that with all of her cousins, once they start getting a little older, more mobile, once Caitlin starts getting older and more mobile, uh, she'll have a lot more fun with them. But for now, they're just kind of babies. They don't do much for her. She loves them still, but they just, they're not much for her to play with. And one thing that's really good is that her aunt is only 10 years old. So she is closer to age with her and she is able to play with her. So that makes it better. And, but in terms of group activities, we don't... We don't do too much for organized activities. We just, like, we take her out to places like Let's Play or Kids Corners or the park or... And we let her play with other kids and socialize with other kids. She's so friendly. She wants, like, she goes right in, meets people, says, Hi, how you... Hi, I'm Sherry. Like... Let's play, things like that. She gets right into it. So, basically, whatever we do, if there's another kid there, she'll make a friend, and she'll make it into a group activity for herself, so. But, that's about it. It's 2.30 in the morning. I'm going to finish unwinding and get all this makeup off my face, and I think I'm going to go to bed. So, I will talk to you guys for the next topic. Bye.